Hi, I want to share with you how to get photos off of an old basic cell phone and onto the computer without having to send each one individually by email. Um, you can do it fairly easily with a program called BitPim. And it's a wonderful program, it's free, and thanks to Nancy Huston on Howard Forum's um, mobile community, I was able to find instructions on how to do this. She has wonderful instructions, I'm very grateful for her, she is now my new hero. And I wanted to share this with you, and how I did it, and the instructions. If you want to find the instructions that I have up here, just go to howardforums.com, and if you Google... Um, if you Google like LG VX5600 how to download pictures, you'll, you'll find it. And it's like the first thing that comes up on HowardForums.com, at least it is right now. Hopefully, add Howard Forums in there just in case you want to make sure. You get it. And anyway, I just wanted to show you how real quick. Where's the instructions? Here we go. And I really, can we just not have those pop up? Thank you. Alright, so. First of all, go to a new window. Open up bitpim.org. And just type in B-I-T-P-I-M dot org and then we're going to scroll down to where the downloads are pick your operating system mine's the mac and it should be downloading and where is there it is but i already have it up here so i'm just going to double click on that and double click on bitpim say yes open and then it will come up in one moment. I already have my phone plugged in with a USB cord to my computer. So it should start trying to detect that phone automatically. Um, it has the little red indicator saying it's busy. Okay, now it says it's, now it's green and it says it's found my phone. So it's been detected. It's seen my phone. So I... I'm going to click on the wrench and screwdriver icon for the BitPim settings and I'm going to select what she suggested to select which was the LG VX9100 is what she picked because for some reason she said when she went to 5500 that it didn't work and it just did text files for some reason anyway she did the uh, 9100 and it did work so I did the same thing and it worked I haven't actually tried it with the 5500 but for some reason you don't have to pick the phone you have and it, it can work um, block writing anything to the phone just in case because I want to take my info and put it on the computer not on t I don't want to take anything and put it on my phone I'm going to click on phone wizard click LG click LG I'm going to have it match the LG VX9100, say next, and I'm just going to select auto. I could have it match what it says here, and it should work fine too. Um, do not click detect phone, click finish. Then click OK. Huh. Alright, now we're going to go to data, get phone data. We're going to click wallpaper. And we're going to leave Add and Replace alone, as they are, and say OK. And then this little indicator goes red, and this indicates the photos are coming. Now it's green. It means I already got my photos. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click not on SD, because that one's empty, but on the next one. And there's the photos. There's the photos, yes. So, all the photos are, you're going to... Um, actually, go up to edit, click select all, and then when they're all purple, you've selected them all, right click, hit save, then a pop-up comes up, there it is, you're going to choose what folder you want to put it in, I'm going to go ahead and put it in phone photos 1, I'm going to hit choose, and then it should be in there. 
I'm going to double check. I'm going to open up my Finder folder or Finder window. A new Finder window just to make sure that it's in the folder. I put it in Pictures, Phone Photos 1, and there they are. There's all my photos. And I am just so excited that I was able to do that so easily. Whereas before, I was trying to look all over the web for information and I couldn't find it. So I am really grateful to Nancy Huston on Howard Forums. And I'm really grateful to the people, the creators of PitPim. And also, I would just like to add one quick thing. If you don't know what the um, model number of your phone is, because I didn't, I found out that if you look, if you pop off the back and take the phone battery out, it says the model number under there, at least for LG phones. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial is helpful to somebody else. Sometimes you just really want those photos off your old phone, and if you don't know how to get them, that's discouraging. So hopefully this will help somebody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.